This is a Capricorn XS series tube on the left and a regular Ender 3 button tube on the right. Capricorn states that their tube doesn't break down until 340 on their website and we're going to find out. I bought this for printing nylon but you need a temperature of 250. So we're going to do the Bowden tube on the right first and see if this breaks down. Bowden tube on the right is starting to melt. Here's the Capricorn series. Seems to be holding up. it's melting a little bit see that it's melting this is a nylon printing temp and it's definitely melting this stuff is actually any better. I'm going to put this up at 340 because that's what they say that this tube can handle on their website. Just so we're in the range of their operating temperature. And at It's melting right through it. And that tube's done. Do Capricorn three thirty five. I mean, it is still melting, but not like the white tube. It does seem to have some heat resistant properties. It feels stiffer than this tube, too. I mean, it's melting, but not like the white tube is. I can smell that white tube too.
I mean, it is holding up better than this tube, definitely. I'm going to go to 340 and see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Regular. I mean, it's melting right through it. It's melting right through it. melted the hole right through that tube. Let's try this one. I mean, this one's definitely melting at 340, but not like this one is. It can't melt a hole through it like the white one. No matter how hard I push on that. I'm going to take this up to... Just for the hell of it. 355. I'm going to see if... One melts any faster than the other. Actually, let's go up to 360. Go up to 365, just so it melts faster. I mean, that tube's actually, I mean, it's melting, but it's holding up better than this one. It's definitely holding up better than this one is. Alright, let's go up to 380, just for the hell of it. I want to see what happens. At the white tube. I mean, I'm starting to cut right through it at this point. It's literally cutting through it. Didn't cut through it, but it's melting. Let's go up to 400 and 10.
This is Capcorn is actually impressing me a little bit. I mean, it's starting to cut through it. There you see it. And I'm melting through it. At 410. But not like that white tube. I mean, that definitely broke down faster. You go up to 450. Now, you'd never want to print this high. I'm just doing this to see if this actually does have some properties that make it withstand heat better. at 450 I mean I mean both of these are actually quite impressive at 450 but Let's go up to 500. I think it's 480 is the max. I should be able to go higher than that. I think it's 480 is the max. There we go. Like butter. Like butter. Look at that. Let's see if this one does the same. I mean, it's melting through it. But not like it is the white tube. This definitely does seem to be degrading slower. I have to push a lot harder on this to get it to cut through. <sighs> Look at that, guys. The thing does have some properties that make it more heat resistant. Do I think this is worth the extra money if you want to print higher temperatures? Yeah, I do. I think this has some properties to it that help it withstand heat a little bit better. <clears throat> I, I think I would feel safe printing nylon with this. Maybe a 260. I don't think I'd want to go much higher than that with this. Like if you guys wanted to print something that would require a higher temperature than 260, I don't think I would do that, but you could try it. I don't know, I just, 340 just seems too much for this. I definitely wouldn't go printing nylon with this. I mean, it just, Won't hold up. So there you had it. 